Hi again, uh, here we are to continue our, our introduction to JavaScript. And, uh, you know, in our last um, video, we, uh, we removed an item from our cart. So you can see here, I've got, um, you know, seven items in my cart, and it's got a Frisbee at the bottom. And then down here, I removed the Frisbee and it shows six items, right? Okay, so the six is the total quantity. So it's three plus two plus one is six, right? Up here we had seven, three plus two plus one plus one, right? Okay, so that was really good. In the last video, um, the challenge was it, rather than removing the whole item from the cart, can we just remove one from the quantity, like subtract one, right? So, you know, for an example, instead of removing the Frisbee, let's remove the apple. So if I if I do this and I and I save and then I refresh here, you can see I had seven items in the cart and down here I have four because three of the apples have been removed, right? But really maybe I only want to subtract one from the quantity of apples, right? Um, there'll be an edge case here because if the quantity reaches zero, then it should be removed. And if the quantity was zero and we, we removed another one, it could be negative one, and that could like affect the total cost and some other cause some other problems, right? So um, let's comment this out for now because we'll need it. And let's remove one from the quantity. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll get to the quantity by saying uh, cart bracket i, right? So that gives me the object at index i. And then it has a quantity property. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll do minus equals one, okay? So this means subtract one or subtract the value on the right from the item on the left, okay? So we'll save that. And then remember, again, we're returning here because, um, you know, uh, the, our, our item names are all unique. So if I've found one item with this name, I won't find another one with that name. Okay, so let's refresh it here. So I had on the first item, my first line, I have uh, six or seven items in the cart and then three apples. And down here, I should have six items, but two apples, right? So let's refresh that. Oh yeah, there we go. That's working, right? I got three apples here, seven items. And down here, I've got six items with two apples, okay? So that's working pretty good. So now how can we handle the situation with a quantity of zero? Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say, hey, you know, if, we'll make an if block again, and I'll say, hey, if, you know, cart bracket i dot quantity, um, we could do less than one or equal to zero, right? Either one of those would work. Then what we'll do is we'll do this line here where, where we remove the item from the cart. There we go, let's, let's tab that over once, right? Okay, so let's see, now how can we test this, right? Well, right now, if I, you know, if I subtract one apple, then I should have two apples. But what if I also um, removed one Frisbee? So in this case, I should have, you know, after I've done this, when I, when I show items again, I should have two apples, because I've got like one, two, you know, three, right? But I've only got one Frisbee. So if I, if I subtract one Frisbee, then it should see that the quantity is zero for Frisbees, and then it should splice the cart and remove the item at index i, okay? So let's save that and uh, run our code again. Okay, let's see. So we've got two apples here, and we started with three, then we subtracted one, right? And then we removed one Frisbee, but since the quantity was zero, it got removed. So that looks like it's working pretty good. Okay, so let's do one more thing with this, right? Remove item is, is pretty good by itself, but what if we wanted to, um, to uh, you know, set the number of items to remove? Like you wanted to be able to remove one or two or three, you know, be able to subtract a certain number, right? Um, we could add a comma here and say, the quantity of items to remove, right? You know, I'm going to put a, a, a zero here, right? And that'll be the default value. So if you just call remove item, so this is kind of a new concept. If you add a, a, a parameter to a function, you normally, you know, like in the last 
couple functions, we didn't give it a value and it had to get the value from outside, right? So you had to include that. In this case, I'm calling remove item, but I'm not including the second parameter down here, right? So I've just said apple, but I didn't say how many apples to remove. So the quantity was zero, right? So let's say if, if quantity is zero, like you'd never remove zero items. Let's say if quantity is zero, we'll just splice the cart and remove all the items, right? And if the quantity is a number, we'll subtract that from the quantity. And then if the quantity is less than, than one, we'll splice the cart, okay? So let's, let's, let's do this, right? And then if we wanted, we could say, hey, why don't, in this case, why don't we just remove one apple and in this case, I want to remove all the Frisbees, no matter how many there are, in, right? Okay, so I won't say how many to remove, right? Okay, so let's go through our logic here, right? So the default value, if you don't include it in this case, right, there's no second parameter, right? There's no number or anything after Frisbee, right? Um, then the value for quantity here will be the local variable quantity will be zero. And in the first case, when we do the apple, we'll include a value here. So instead of having a, Z, a value of zero for quantity, it'll have a value of one because we put a one there. Okay, and you could put it two here or any other value, right? We'll just do one for now. Okay, so let's see. So if we loop through the cart and we find an item with this name, then what we'll do is we'll ask the question like, hey, if quantity that was passed into this function is um, greater than zero, then what we'll do is we'll, we'll move this code up here and we'll say, hey, cart uh, bracket i dot quantity minus equals the quantity of items that we want to remove. Okay, so we'll subtract that number of items from the quantity here. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll say like, hey, you know, if the quantity is zero, now it could be possible that you subtracted more items than existed there, right? So if there was like one item in the cart and you passed in a quantity of three, it might be negative two. So equals zero might be a problem, right? Because if it was negative two items, we'd want to remove it from the cart, right? So what we'll do here is we'll say, hey, if this is less than, than uh, one, okay? So that's zero, negative one, negative two, right? Okay, so if it's less than one, then we'll want to uh, splice the cart, okay? Um, and then what do we do here? So, so also, if the quantity is zero, right, then um, we'll also want to uh, remove or splice and remove the item from the cart. So let's add one more piece of JavaScript logic in here, okay? So in an if statement, you can say, um, to do something, and sometimes you want to say like, "Hey, if you did, if this something is true, or if another thing is true." So if the quantity is is less than one, we'll want to do this, right? The cart quantity is less than one, and if this quantity is equal to zero, we also want to do the code here in the code block. So what we'll do is we'll use the double pipe. So these two characters here, they're over um, on the right side of the keyboard above the backslash, right? So if the cart quantity is less than one or if quantity is equal to zero, then we'll splice the item from the cart. Okay, so if this logic works, then um, we should see over here that um, apples will be two instead of three because we added three up here one two three and then we subtracted one and then over here when we remove item frisbee we didn't include the number so the default quantity is zero and it should remove all frisbees from the uh from the the cart right so let's save that and uh, test it here again oops oh yeah there we go right for some reason, it didn't print that first um, line there sometime. Oh, there it does it this time, right? So it, we had seven items in the cart, three apples. Now I've got two down here, so that worked. 
and then the frisbee is also removed okay so anyway thanks for watching i hope that's interesting we're just about to where we can start writing some front-end code where we actually set up the user interface that lets us you know work with these functions through the uh, through buttons and and this form up here right so uh, thanks for watching and then we'll work on that in the next couple of videos